Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norvell with the On Your Side forecast. Boy, we had a nice frontal system push right through the Boise area and through the entire Treasure Valley. It took about two hours. This is, uh, I believe, a two-hour loop here, two or three hours. Uh, two hours, I think it is. And we had hail coming through in the Meridian area, big old flashes of lightning there. And then you see the lightning up around Bogus Basin and in southeast Boise as well as this line moved through. So it was rain and pe soft pea-sized hail pushing on through. Very much... Uh, Representative of what we have during the springtime or, or late winter because of the mild temperatures we've had, then the cooler weather coming in behind us. So, dry weather is moving on in. If you haven't had this yet and you're living east of Boise, uh, you've got some heavy rain that's tracking in Boise, southeast Boise, the interstate there, right at the A to Elmore County line, really coming down. Another wave of some thunderstorms here pushing towards the Jordan Valley area right here. And these will continue to slide on off to the east, and uh, that could bring some uh, thunderstorms there up towards the um, the Oahe Mountains as well with a burst of snow and boy the snow has been coming down up to nine inches of snow up at Tamarack Resort as these this system has pushed on through so some pretty heavy snow Long Valley's got snow as well here's the gusty wind gust of 40 miles per hour uh, east of Boise with that wave pushing on through so gust of 40 nothing severe but there is still some wind with those storms coming through and a temperature drop as well Boise went from around 47 48 down to 40 and then it's 48 in Ontario temperature coming back up but the temperature will drop at Mountain Home, and there will be some snow rain mixture as we head to the east. 32 is snow falling in the McCall area as well, and there's still a chance for another couple of inches of snow in Long Valley. And another three or four inches of snow could fall at Tamarack and uh, Brundage, which could bring up to near a foot of snow out of this storm system, which is quite impressive with the cooler air moving in, too. Here's 47 for tomorrow, 48 on Wednesday, on Thursday, and then 54 Friday, a slight chance for a shower. Saturday, I think we could be a mix of sun and clouds, but 57, so upper 50s, generally 55 to 60. So that will be an amazing day on Saturday. Then a cold front will bring some showers on Sunday down to 45. And look at this, down to 28, 23. High temperature 39 next Tuesday. So colder weather, a little bit more seasonable weather will move in after this weekend. There's your latest update. I'll have another update coming up right here. Join me then later this evening.